Okay, how you guys doing? Welcome to SB252. The Seahawks just defeated the Texans yesterday, but they just defeated the Texans again here on Monday. They just got a big-time trade for a big-time offensive lineman, Dwayne Brown, who has played his whole career with the Texans. But this just this season, he decided to hold out of a six-year, $50 million contract that he had signed back in 2012 with the Houston Texans. We all guessed that he wanted more money. Well, he did want more money. And quite frankly, the Texans earlier this season struggled without him. He just played his first game just yesterday against the Seahawks. So I guess the Seahawks were saying, hey, listen, we know Watson threw for over 400 yards. We know he had four touchdowns. That had something to do with that offensive line. So it's quite interesting that Seahawks said, hey, listen, we're going to try to make a move to get him because we just played him yesterday and we saw how great he played and Seahawks got him. The details of the trade are not out yet, so we don't know what the Texans got in return or what the Seahawks may have gotten as well, but we don't know. But Dwayne Brown, like we said, has played 10 seasons for the Texans, 32 years old, veteran offensive lineman, veteran player, knows how to get it done. Earlier this season, we all know the Texans gave up 10 sacks against the Jaguars. But lately, they have figured this thing out, with, even without him, even before yesterday, with Watson and the rookie, rookie running back, Foreman, and still they have Lamar Miller. Figuring things out there in Houston, only 3-4 and four on the season, but the loss of Dwayne Brown, they have learned to cope without him, because Bill O'Brien's not going to put up with that. He's not going to pay him the money, so they can figure things out without him. But this is a huge deal for the Seahawks. They won a big-time game yesterday, and they just won again. Huge deal for them. Their offensive line has been bad for years, ever since they traded away to get Jimmy Graham, and they got rid of Unger, sent him over to the Saints. Their offensive line has struggled. Russell Wilson's been hit too many times. Now he has an offensive line. Thomas Rawls only ran. Actually, he had negative one rushing yards yesterday. So although Russell Wilson might have thrown for 452 most of career, they got to get that running game going. Got good running backs. Got to get it started. Thank you guys for watching today's video, SB252. We did a game analysis just yesterday. Go check out the game analysis of the Texans Seahawks game. Hope you guys have a good day. Hope you guys have a good Monday and enjoy Monday Night Football. Make sure also, if you're not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you like this good content. You guys have a good day.